Hello ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. So right now I'm in Biscuit Space and still in Yellowstone. And today I'm going to talk about Fedcoin and also a Cardano project as well. So Federal Reserve is going to uh, issue their own digital currency eventually. So um, for example, you have a stimulus check right now. It takes quite some time to get it out, right? But eventually, it's going to be digitized. And unfortunately, the system is pretty centralized uh, for the Fed coin. So that will be uh, digitized as well. So for example, your social, social security and uh, veterans, uh, that's some type of payment that will be undergo, uh, that will eventually will be on the private blockchain. Uh, that, is a, that is a very centralized uh, blockchain anyway. So it will be like a, a pyramid basically. On the top will be Federal Reserve and then uh, in the middle will be the bank, uh, the bank, the banking system, uh, unfortunately. And uh, at the very bottom, it will be the little guys, right? Just, uh, just uh, average people. So this uh, blockchain, this so-called Fed coin or Federal Reserve coin, uh, digitized version of the US dollars, is basically is very centralized uh, anyway. So. So another thing is it's easier for the Federal Reserve to control the uh, monetary policy. They can, uh, they can basically control uh, the spending pen, uh, pattern of the consumers. Because like, for example, in, in China, they have their own digital uh, version of the renminbi. And they are, still, they are testing in certain city at this time right now. What is this one? I think the black thing. So, so right now they're testing in the system right now and in Southern City and uh, some of the people, the salary is already paid uh, using the Fed coin, uh, not the Fed coin, the, the digitized uh, renminbi. So it's a matter of time they're going to digitize everything. And then they can uh, control how you spend the money in terms of, uh, because it will be, uh, probably you can use it in your digitized wallet. And if they uh, want to control the M1 or M2, it's very easy just a click of the button, they can control it very easily. So for example, in terms of buying pet, uh, habit, they can uh, probably dictate how you spend the money. And uh, they will basically, uh, for example, if they are some, some type of shortage in certain items, they will monetize uh, that you can only use this money to buy certain thing. There is just a matter of time they're going to control everything. So unfortunately, this is going to happen. Uh, this is so unfortunately. So right now they're printing, like right now they're printing press, right? And at the end of the day, uh, they want more control. This is their the, the goal. The goal is to control, is to control your spending habit. It's basically you work as a slave for them. So in order to be out of the system, you got to be work really smart. You know, you cannot just working as a regular day job, basically. So let me know what you think about the Federal Reserve coin. Uh, the tech coin. I mean, they've been talking about it, and it's just a matter of time going to digitize the U.S. dollars. Uh, this is this is the future, uh, unfortunately, and this is very centralized. As I mentioned earlier, on the top will be the Federal Reserve, and then in the middle is the is the banking cartel, and then at the very part, bottom will be the regular people. The thing is, uh, it's not peer to peer, so it's very centralized. So you you. I mean, the thing is. If it's peer to peer, you don't need the banking industry anymore, isn't it? Why you need the banking industry if it's peer to peer? So, uh, so, so we talk about it's not peer to peer. I mean, if it's peer to peer, you deal directly with another user. You don't have to go through uh, intermediaries, which is the, the bank industry when you wire money and all that. You have to go through them. So why not you send money directly from A to B? You know why we have to go through a middleman? So this is how they are making billions and billions of dollars of just the wire money fee, basically. Uh, this is how they, how they make money in the, 
banking cartel, unfortunately. And let's talk about the Cardano project. So right now, uh, the Cardano project is going to launch in June. And Charles Hawkinson talked about it. I mean, Charles Hawkinson is like, I mean, basically, he talked too much. <laughs> and I don't want to say that because like, we, need, we, need, uh, we need something to get it done. In terms of the, the project, they're very behind compared to, uh, for example, Tezos, EOS, and uh, Ethereum. Ethereum, they have a D5, they have a niche. And Cardano, I don't see any niche. Can you, can you find out if there's any niche in Cardano project? I don't see any niche. And so in terms of, um, in terms of Tezos, it's going to tokenize the real estate market. And in terms of the Ethereum, it's the DeFi, decentralized finance. So that will be the next catalyst for them. This will be the next catalyst. And those will be the next catalyst. Uh, in 2017, the ICO is the is a big thing. It's the catalyst for the for the blue cycle for 2017. And for the next blue one will be the D5 decentralized finance project from the Ethereum. And and in terms of uh, CRX, it's a decentralized exchange, right? So in terms of uh, it's a decentralized exchange, and uh, it's listed on Coinbase as and the thing is like. Uh, but also, Coinbase will be utilized the decentralized exchange protocol in uh, ZRX as well. So this is very uh, important that uh, the projects have niche. So I don't see any uh, niche in Cardano project. Uh, if you find any niche in the Cardano project, uh, please comment below. Us. Uh, that would be great. And in terms of the uh, mainnet launch, we are still waiting for the mainnet launch on June. And for the, uh, I think it's June or July coming up. So right now it's doing the test net. Hopefully you guys are stacking the token and uh, get some reward uh, in the test net. Unfortunately, the stupid, uh, those stupid Cardano the, the data wallet is uh, pretty. So this is a shell, uh, shell spring. Uh, there's nothing right now. Uh, we're talking about Cardano project, right? Uh, the, the magnet launch is pretty slow, seriously. In terms of the data wallet, it's pretty slow and when you uh, when you load the data wallet, they have to load entire blockchain before you can use the wallet. This is crazy. And it takes uh, me quite some time if I don't uh, open the wallet for quite some time. Then it takes a while to synchronize every single blockchain before I can use the wallet. Of course, you have a Yowie wallet as well. So Yowie Yowie wallet is the lighter version. is a light version of the Cardano wallet uh, that was much faster when you're loading it. That is much better. And uh, that you can also stacking token in Yowie as well. Um, so I hope you guys uh, uh, stack the token, the Yowie Cardano token, uh, while they have a testnet launch. I think back in February. So right now, mainnet is going to be on around June or July. So hopefully they're going not going to be delayed. Shelly mainnet, and hopefully uh, uh, they're going to do that. Uh, you can argue that Cardano they're going to use the. Um, uh, more focused on academia or, or enterprise or government platform. But the thing is, I, I don't see any uh, <coughs> company uh, joining the Cardano platform. And I, I'm not sure about that one. So we will see how it goes, but uh, it's invested by most, mostly the Cardano project, invest mostly by the Japanese investor, right? So mostly by the uh, Japanese investor, and then I think the contract is going to expire. It's like 20, I forgot, I have to go back and look at it. So they have a contract with, uh, with a Japanese investor and the early investor from the Japanese. So this is considered as a Japanese Ethereum. But the thing is, I don't see any um, company sign up for this blockchain. So for Tezos, you have uh, tokenized the real estate. For uh, Ethereum, it's a decentralized finance. And for CRX, it's a decentralized platform, uh, exchange platform. And for Bitcoin, uh, because since this is anonymous, so this, since this, is, uh, this, is, this is anonymous, right? It has an advantage. You cannot, there's no single point of uh, a person or something. So you can basically cannot shut down the project. Uh, for Ethereum, yeah, you can, you can shut down the project, right? I mean, at, at some point, you can, you can basically shut down the project because you have a Vitalik, a single person, uh, the founder, right? So for Bitcoin, you, nobody knows who is Satoshi Nakamoto. Oh, this thing is growing up right now. So nobody knows who is Satoshi Nakamoto, which is an advantage, which is an advantage because uh, you cannot just shut it down because you don't have a uh, 
a contact person to shut it down. So, so Bitcoin is anomalous. Uh, it has an advantage. So, right? But I can't think of anything about Cardano. Any niche for this project? This way is in interesting. It's yellow. So anyway, um, so I couldn't find a niche for in terms of the Cardano project. What, what do you think about that? And so different projects they have different niche. If I can't find a niche, uh, I don't know. Seriously. So right now it's very windy. Uh, so another blockchain I can't remember which one uh, it's just kind of disappointing uh, I think it's a it's a factoring services it's an Asian version uh, I think I talked about that in, in my previous video I can't remember right now it's an Asian factoring services uh, it's like factoring services basically uh, you have account receivable uh, from uh, you have, for example if you are the small enterprise you sell your account receivable uh, you you deliver goods to the department store like Macy's and then oh this one is going over to the back now nice so so you have and then you have account receivable so you you have account receivable uh, uh, for Macy's and then in order to get some cash flow oh they're coming out so in order to get some cash flow then you sell your account receivable and stuff so it used to be this uh, Asian company I think I tried to try I think the project name is uh, Tracks. I think uh, Tracks or something. And it's an Asian version of factoring services. Um, Populous is the European version of factoring services, right? Populous. And so Tracks is uh, supposed to be on that blockchain. And I don't know which blockchain they went uh, right now, so I have no idea. So because it takes too long uh, for Cardano to develop uh, this project, so it takes way too long for the Cardano to be developed. So they move on to another blockchain. So that's a, that's a sad. So the thing is, I, could, I couldn't find any company uh, want to be on that blockchain. But that maybe their focus is on the government or enterprise level or academia stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. So let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear from you. And what do you think the niche for Cardano? Uh, do you think... Do you think... Do you, I, I couldn't think of any good thing. I mean, I prefer they tokenize the, ex, uh, the asset, like uh, Tezos uh, tokenize the real estate market. That would be good. And, all, and also, uh, they already have a whole bunch of uh, companies signed on to their, to their platform. And of course, uh, they already, uh, Coinbase already um, support the stacking process as well. And uh, Cardano is not even listed on Coinbase. That's another disadvantage. Because uh, like, there's tons and tons of millions of users in Coinbase, right? <clears throat> That would be if they if they can in uh, in a better exchange, that can make a huge difference uh, to the to the token as well. So, okay, let me know what you think about uh, uh, Cardano, and do you think it still has potential, or it takes them too long to launch the mainnet? And please comment below. And what, what do you think about the Federal Reserve coin? Uh, do you think this is this will be the future to control uh, the money supply, uh, M1 and M2? And so with the with the uh, with the Federal Reserve uh, digitized uh, U.S. dollar eventually, so uh, that will easily control the money supply, easily control everything. Uh, the key thing is to control. At the end of the day, with all this lockdown and everything, is control. And right now, there's so much unrest in uh, different parts uh, of the country right now, uh, in New York, in uh, California, in Oakland, in I think in Houston, uh, Dallas. Um, I don't know those unrest is is all is that organized by some, some people, I'm not sure, uh, because those people are not protesting. Those, those people are basically riot uh, to the store. It's basically uh, because uh, using an excuse for uh, George Floyd, 
uh, because of the police brutality. And let me know what you think about all this. I would love to hear from you. Please comment below uh, what do you think about the Federal Reserve Digital Currency and the Cardano project. And uh, comment below what's your favorite project and I would love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. Also you can follow me on Twitter. And for my Patreon member, uh, I think when I get back, I'll talk about uh, what is the, uh, uh, the trading strategy for going to uh, Also, a bunch of videos in Patreon, and, uh, and yeah, so you can check it out. So exclusively for my Patreon member. Okay, so make sure you comment below. That will uh, help my ranking in YouTube, and I will continue to provide quality video for you guys. And remember, crypto deep divers. We, the people, take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not your financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency or commodity can have inherent risk. Please use your due diligence. And peace out.